Welcome back to part 9 of this tutorial series where we're building a quiz app with AngularJS. And in this video, we're nearly ready to start building out the markup for each question in our quiz. But to build that markup, we need the data for each question. And like we mentioned earlier in the course, we're not going to be pulling from an API. But in this video, we're going to start thinking about how we can use our newly found knowledge of factories to start separating out concerns and mocking that data as if it came from an API. So like we did with the, the turtles data here, we're not going to use HTTP or an API request. We're going to just paste in the questions and answers. So we'll come into our controller. And like we did in our list controller, we could just paste the data down here. But a few videos ago, I mentioned that in Angular, it's common to use services to encapsulate commonly used functionality, like API requests. So even though in this series, we're not going to actually use an API request, we can still create a service that will fetch the data, even though the data will just be fetched from a variable that we paste in, it's still fetching the data and then passing that data into the controllers. And this serves another purpose, which is separating out our concerns again. So the controllers are receiving data. They request data and then they receive it. And they don't care where it came from. They just know that they've got the data now. So that data could be got from an API or it could be just copy and paste it into the file. The controller doesn't care, it just gets the data. And that's separated out the concerns. The controller doesn't need to worry about where that data came from, it just needs to worry about getting it. So we'll head into our factory here, and we'll close this out, and we're still in the factories directory, and we'll create another factory called dataservice.js. And we'll start this out in the same way with our immediately invoking function and we'll reference angular dot module and we'll get hold of the turtle facts module and then we'll use the dot factory again and we'll call this factory data service and we'll reference a named function we'll call that data factory and we'll create a function called data factory then on here we'll create a variable just like we did in our other factory we'll call it data object and we'll use the literal syntax and then on here we want properties called turtles data which will be the same turtles data that we used in our list controller and we'll also want quiz questions but then of course we're actually going to have to fetch this data instead of coming from an API I'll just paste it in so I'll get the quiz questions variable and the turtles data variable which is just JSON just like we did earlier so I'll paste that in and then this variable is called quiz questions and this has the type of the question whether it's a text based question or an image based question the actual text of the question and then the possible answers and then two flags at the bottom so the selected flag will hold the index of the selected answer the index of the the answer that the user has selected and the correct flag will just hold a true or false whether that selected is in fact the correct answer and then we have the turtle data so the turtles data is exactly the same as what we have in our list controller. So our turtles data variable and our quiz questions variable. So then turtles data here equals turtles data. So that's our variable down below. And then quiz questions, we'll set that equal to quiz questions. And we need a semicolon. And then, of course, we will return the data object. So 
now we need to go back into our controllers and inject our data service. So we called it data, data service here. So we can come into our array and inject in data service. Come down to our controller and give it data service. And then we can close out the quiz controller and open up our list controller. And then we've got this data here, which we can now delete. Just like that. And where we'll come up here and just inject in the service. So we call it data service. And we'll put it in here as data service. And then here we linked to turtles data, but that is no longer just turtles data because that variable has been deleted. But it is in fact data service dot turtles data. So that's the object returned by the data service factory, which is here. And that's returned there. And that's got this turtles data, which is the exact same JSON. So if we save that, come back into our HTML and add in this new factory. Source of JS factories, and we called it data service.js. Save that and come back into our browser. And we can see this data is now loading up exactly as we expected. So now that we've done that, we can start creating the actual markup for each question. This video is running a bit long now, so I will tackle that in the next video. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube, and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.